You hear that? What the hell's that sound? It's just the wind. Yeah, right. When's the last time the wind said hostiles to you? Uh, those aren't drones. Oh, shit. Looks like they upgraded. They're both there on guards. You think they know what we're doing? Well, we're not here to sell cookies. So they know something's up. Hey guys, thanks for choosing to watch Roanoke Gaming, where I go into the morphological analysis of enemies and attempt to make it interesting. Today we've got Marcus Phoenix's counterpart, the Sergeant of the Locust Army, the Theron Guard. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the sweet, sweet sounds of Whispering Boogeyman. Theron Guard is considered by most to be the sergeant or the officer of the Locust Army. Many can be seen directing small groups of drones and boomers into battle, and also grenadiers as well. Typically, they are going to be deployed in situations that call for precision hits on targets or any event that calls for a strong defensive line that must be held at all costs. Usually, Therons will conduct commando-style raids against humans to destabilize the area. Largely considered the elites of the army, they are the scalpel, the drones and the boomers, the hammer and anvil for comparison. Therons are larger than a drone by a full head and shoulder. They are also a little larger than a grenadier. Smaller than boomers, they still stand 6 foot 7 inches, which towers over the average human. Therons due to this size upgrade are also going to be stronger than their counterparts. I guess size really does matter in the Locust Army, and these guys are going to be a hard hitter. Thick callous skin, more so than a drone or grenadier, as well as stronger armor gives them combat advantage not seen by their peers. Able to withstand hits that would knock a drone out, they are able to continue the fight which will usually turn out in their favor if you're not prepared. Their deep hissing voices are not really explained as well as far as where they came from and why they exist, but it can be imagined that this noise, while more sharp than that of a drone or grenadier's expressions, are used for intimidation purposes. Any interaction during combat, you will hear a Theron hissing orders to the troops as well as hissing at humans that just wandered in. Psychological intimidation is also a factor among the Therons as we can see here. Large sharp teeth remain exposed and coupled with the hissing can shake a lot of soldiers to their foundations when facing off against one of these elite guards. Therons are decidedly more intelligent than their lower level warriors. They are also more skilled and trained for combat than drones. The Theron operates as a leader of the group directing the attack and the implementation of force. Usually a Theron will send drones and grenadiers out as cannon fodder to draw cog troops out into the open where they can pick them apart and really blow them apart with a torque bow. Therons have also been known to feign retreat when dealing with enemies. Doing this, they will run behind cover and draw an unprepared cog soldier with them. At this point, the Theron will swing back around and begin firing at the soldier, typically killing them or at minimum, majorly and mortally wounding them. They will do this regardless of if there is help on the other side or not. They just really want to take out the cog soldier. Other Therons can easily coordinate with Therons to complete their attack. If it is a full group of Therons, then a Theron Sentinel will typically take a leadership role. They will then direct the strike team against the humans. Sentinels are highly intelligent and rival that of human command. Deadly and precise, you must be alert when dealing with them as they are prone to draw even Delta Squad out and annihilate them at a moment's notice. The armor of a Theron is easily recognized due to their pretty signature armor style. They wear heavy armor that is going to cover most of their upper body, and this is obviously going to be much more than that of a drone or grenadier, but what makes it more signature and noticeable is a long leather piece that flows from their waist area. This will flap behind them as they run, giving it a trench coat look. The locusts are considered the boogeymen, and these guys are pretty much the demons of the boogeymen. Their decorative helmets come to a point that almost look like horns. Coupled with bright red flecks on their armor, it can basically be very intimidating looking. The higher ranking Theron's headpiece is going to be more rounded and completely cover their face. There's not really any visible eye slits, so there must be some sort of technology that allows them to see, even though they can't really see out of the visor. 
The Sentinels also wear a darker shade of red on their armor. As mentioned in the previous section, Therons are highly intelligent. Very intelligent. Whatever they will find, they will use to its full potential. Therons have been known to use Boltok pistols, Nasher shotguns, Hammer Burst rifles, Lancers, and Torque bows. While Boltok pistols and Hammer Burst rifles don't pose too much of a threat to the average Vigilant Cog soldier, the other weapons subject a human to much greater risk. Theron will pick up a Lancer from a dead Cog soldier and have no qualms about getting in close and using that chainsaw. Probably what that soldier undoubtedly did to use on their kin. A Theron with a Nasher is much like a Grenadier except more precise and accurate. Therons will use cover to get in close and give you a face full of buckshot if you're not paying attention. The most dangerous Theron is one with a torque bow. If at any point a soldier takes one misstep and rolls out of cover, a Theron can pinpoint them almost immediately and send a sharp barbed tip with an explosive attached. Much like my boy the Crocodile Hunter, this barb pierces the armor, skin, and muscle of the unfortunate person, giving them just enough time to say, oh shit, before the explosive detonates blowing them apart. You're pretty much turned into a meat cloud at this point, and that's going to be all she wrote for you. Therons are stronger, smarter, faster, and overall better than their drone and grenadier counterparts. This gives them combat advantages, and while they could execute you in any fashion like a regular locust could, they typically just do it fast and get it done. More often I've seen just quick curb stomping from the enemy Therons, but they also aren't afraid to get in close and utilize that chainsaw. Therons can be killed like any other locust in a few different ways, but I've found that the torque bow typically works best, either that or a quick chainsaw. With these guys, it becomes monkey see, monkey do. Copy their style and take them out quick, otherwise their friendlies will come, pick them up, and blow you away. Alright guys, well that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed my video over the Theron. Next up, we'll be making a video of the Berserker, so make sure you come back and watch that, as I have yet to do a boss creature and I am also sure there is going to be a ton of info on it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as push that bell so whenever I upload, you'll know about it. And remember, life is like a box of chocolate. It doesn't last long for fat people. Y'all take care.